Hello family, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela and here on this channel I create beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content and particularly for the woman over 40. Now today's video is all about your signature style. You hear that term thrown out a lot but no one really tells you how to find your particular signature style. So today I'm going to tell you how you can find your signature style. If you'd like to hear what I have to say about that then stay tuned. Now let's get started. So this is my outfit of the day. The first item is this necklace. I don't know where I purchased it from. I've had it for a few years, um, but it's just, I'll find something similar to it. Put it in the description box. This bodysuit is a very recent purchase. I saw it online. I love the neckline. So I bought it in this black, I bought it in gray, and I bought it in the army green. I, I love, I do that all the time. If I see something and I love it, I'm going to get it in several colors. Um, the bracelet, I've had this for a few years as well. I think I got this from Zara. Um, the belt is Valentino. It's a black matte Valentino belt. I love this belt. I really want it in a, even a smaller. They have a smaller one than this. I want it in the smaller size as well. These jeans are a new purchase. They're the Levi. I think they're the wedgie. They are so comfortable. They're 100% cotton, so they don't stretch. And I normally wear a size four. I think I bought these in a size six because I knew they weren't going to stretch, but I just love the comfort of these. These shoes are from Zara. Purchased these probably three years ago, and I love them. I honestly wish I had gotten two pair. I love them that much. Oh, and my scent of the day is by Prada, and it's Prada, I think it's a La Femme. It is a really pretty, very, very, very floral, very, very feminine scent. It's really pretty. I purchased that when it was in, I remember going to the Prada store in Saudi Arabia. It's a really pretty scent. It's a nice warm scent that can be worn. This smell, yeah, this can be worn all year round, but it has a, a, a heaviness to it just a little bit. So it smells more like a fall winter type scent. That's why I haven't worn it in a while, because it's, yeah, this is a fall winter type scent, but I love this. Now, as you all know, for most of us, our style is dictated by our lifestyle. Whether you have a casual lifestyle, some of us work from home like I do. A lot of us, I used to work in corporate America, even in nursing, I worked in the, uh, in the corporate part. I was in management, so leadership roles. So I dressed up every day going to work. So I had a more high end, a more chic, elevated look when I went to work every day. Um, but even when I was off from work, my style remained the same as it is today. Some of you may be mothers, some of you may be grandmothers, some of you may be retired, so you're not dressing up anymore. You kind of gave those clothes away. Now you live a more leisurely, a more casual lifestyle, and so your clothes reflect that lifestyle. So now to determine what your signature style is, you're going to ask yourself a few questions. And the first question you're going to ask yourself is what is my go-to outfit when I need to go somewhere? Not when I'm planning on going out or there's a special occasion like a wedding or something like that, but what is my go-to outfit? consistently look like when I'm trying to go somewhere, just, just go to the grocery store, or even if you're going to the movies or going to the library or going out to eat, what do I consistently find myself going to? Do those pieces consist of like jeans and t-shirts or are they very casual? Are you putting on chinos? That's still a more casual look. Or are you wearing dress slacks? Do you like dresses? Do you like sets? Just think about what your go-to outfit is and if it's a set, Think about the pieces that you put together to make that set. Also think about the accessories if you choose any accessories to go with those go-to outfits. Think about the shoes. Are you going for flats? Are you wearing heels most of the time? Are you wearing slides? Are you wearing sneakers? Just what are your accessories? Are you wearing a lot of jewelry? Are you wearing a lot of bracelets? Are you layering up your necklaces? Do you like long jewelry? Do you like a small dainty stud? What are your accessories to go with that go-to outfit? Now, and what are your what does your purse look like? Just what is the overall look? What does your makeup look like? What are you gonna wear on your face? Or if you're gonna wear any at all when you're going out, think about every step of the process when you're going out on a regular basis. By going out, I mean to anywhere, to the grocery store, whatever you're going to do. What is that go-to outfit that you're gonna pick for the most part, almost every single time? The second question you're gonna ask yourself is, 
What do I feel most beautiful and most confident in when I put it on? Is that gonna be a pair of jeans? Is that gonna be a pair of denim shorts and a t-shirt? Are you most comfortable in that with a pair of sneakers or a pair of slides? Do you feel most comfortable in a dress? Do you not like wearing shorts? Do you? Some women don't prefer to have their legs exposed. Do you like wearing a maxi dress? Or do you like wearing a midi dress or even a mini dress? Do you like skirts? Do you like shorts? Do you like slacks? Do you like to be dressed up? Do you like lace? Do you like frilly things on your clothes? How do you feel when you put these pieces on? When you go into the store and you pick up a shirt and it makes you smile, what does that shirt look like? Or if you go into the store and you see a coat that makes you smile, makes you go, oh, that is definitely me. What is that item? What does that look like? Or when you look at a pair of shoes when you go into the store, what does that look like? And when you put those on, how do they make you feel? How does it make you feel? So you're asking yourself, how does it make me feel? What makes me feel really confident? When I look in the mirror, I feel great. When I put this outfit on, regardless of the color, you can, I can have it in multiple colors, you can have it in multiple colors. Regardless of that, regardless of the fabric, what is the outfit that I can put on that makes me feel very confident and assured in myself and makes me feel beautiful? And the third question that you should ask yourself, you can't figure out the first two is, when I put my clothes on, how do I want to feel? How do I want to feel when I put my clothes on? Do I want to feel modern? Do I want to feel chic? Do I want to feel elevated? Do I want to feel comfortable? Do I want to feel beautiful? Do I want to feel classy? Do I want to feel timeless? Ask yourself, just think about the adjectives that you can think of. How do I want to feel when I put my clothes on? And those three questions will help guide you into what your signature style is. I can tell you my signature style is casual, elevated and comfortable. When I think about my what I'm, my go-to outfit is in the summertime, it's going to be a pair of cut-off denim shorts or a pair of shorts, but you know, just the cut-off denim shorts here lately, this particular summer has been definitely my go-to with a button-up shirt and some sneakers. Or if I'm going out, I'll put on my cut-offs with a, uh, a button-up shirt, but more, maybe a more fitted button-up shirt. And then I wear some heels, some strappy heels, and I have a cute purse, um, and I'll put a belt on with that. If I'm just going out on a casual day, my husband and I are gonna be out all day, I'll put on my cut-off denim shorts with a linen shirt and some sneakers, maybe some high-top sneakers or some low top sneakers whether it be converses or some um jordans but i want to be comfortable and then a crossbody purse rather than a purse that i'm going to carry on the crook of my arm but that is my go-to outfit and when i want to elevate it again if i'm going out to dinner i want to look a little more cuter i'm going to put on i have several pair of denim shorts and some are really really casual and some are a little more dressy for a pair of denim shorts of course and so i'm going to put on some heels with that and i may put on a little or maybe a dressier top um, and maybe a different purse and then I'll style some jewelry like what I have on now. If it's a casual day, I'm just going out, we're gonna be out all day. I'll probably just wear my cross. I won't have any jewelry on, I'll have on my watch, my Apple watch or what have you, but it's a more casual look. And even my scents are different. If I'm going out to dinner, I'm gonna have something more, a little more sexy, a little more romantic, a little more robust. If I'm going out and just hanging out all day, I'm gonna have on a scent that's a little more playful, more pretty, something really bright. And so that is my go-to look, my signature style for myself. Now, when I dress up, I do, however, like to look chic. I wanna look beautiful. I want to feel stunning when I'm dressing up. And so my, my signature style is a casual, an elevated casual, but my going out style is more chic and more sophisticated. So I dabble in between those two styles. Now I do have four styles that most of us fit into these categories and I'll talk about these. So the first style that a lot of us fit into is a classic style. Think Jackie Onassis, think Victoria Beckham. Clean lines, very traditional colors. A lot of European women dress like this. Minimal accessories, but they have timeless pieces. They may have a string of pearls or maybe even two strings of pearls or more dainty jewelry, more small study type necklaces, maybe two or three bracelets at the most, substantial rings, but not too gaudy. Just a very classic, a very timeless style. Some 
blue and white, I'm sorry, maybe a blue and white striped shirt, a lot of navy, a lot of white, just some elevated pieces. Most of the slacks are all the way down to the floor. They're straight leg, just very sleek, very, the quality of the fabrics of the outfits are really nice. A lot of natural fabrics. The pieces are very tailored. They look like they're made for your body. So this is a very classic style, very elevated, very, something that's gonna last, something that's gonna look great time and time again. Something that's gonna look great in 2022. It looked great in 1970. It's gonna look great in, in 2052. That is a classic style. The next style category that a lot of ladies fit into is a boho style. And you all have seen the boho style. That consists of a lot of layering, a lot of very loose, flirty, very flowy clothes, a lot of fringe. There's a lot of feminine qualities of the fabrics and the lots of flowers. Sometimes the ladies like to wear hats on their heads. They like to wear a lot of neutral colors, a lot of tans and browns, or I'm sorry, a lot of earth tone colors, a lot of tans and browns, some Merlots, just deep, rich colors. It's a very fun, a very happy look. The clothes have a very easy, unhindered type of feel. A lot of, a lot of maxi dresses, a lot of maxi dresses, a lot of long cardigans and dusters with short shorts and, and shirts and just a very easy casual style. So if you're choosing pieces that are very lacy, that are very flowy, very earth tone, and you don't like a lot of uh, tight clothes, you like your clothes very loose and just easy going and just makes you happy, perhaps your style is bohemian. So the next style category that I fit into for most for the most part is the casual laid back style. And I, I say that because I love denim. I wear denim. If I could wear, if I could, I would wear denim probably six days a week. I love denim that much. I do like dresses though. I, I do I do love me a maxi dress in the summertime. Uh, I have about 10 of them and I love them as you all know. But a casual laid back style consists of a lot of really comfortable clothing. It doesn't necessarily mean frumpy, it just means I'm comfortable. Like now I do love, still love my skinny jeans. The jeans I have on now are the Levi's, I think they're called the wedgie. They're, they're just a regular fit, they're not tight. They're so, so comfortable. So that's what I mean by a casual laid back style. There's a lot of t-shirts and that, a lot of loose fitting tops. It's just, I'm just gonna be relaxed. You can go anywhere. I'm not gonna, it, most of the time it does not consist of heels. It consists of some flats or slides or sneakers, just a very overall comfortable look. You can go, you can go from the store to go shopping to the go, go to the movies. It consists of like joggers and sweatsuits and just sets that are just really comfortable and just hang. It's not a lot of clingy clothes. It's just an ultimate comfort. And so that's why I like that that particular category and that's why I fit into it now. Now, as I've gotten older, my style has evolved. I used to be very girly. Um, when I was younger, I was pretty much a tomboy. I didn't like dresses at all. So I, had, I, I don't even know what that style was called when I was dressing. But when I, in my early 20s, I was a very girly, very frilly type of dress. Now I want to be comfortable, but I still want to be cute. I love my heels. So that's why I say I'm casual. I have a casual elevated style. So I'm going to be comfortable, but I'm going to have a cute purse. Oh, I'm gonna have a really nice pair of shoes with my outfit. I'm mostly time I'm gonna have on some cute jewelry, but I'm definitely going to be comfortable. And most of the time, because I wear a lot of denim, it's gonna be considered a casual look. I also love chinos. I haven't worn them in, in a while. I forgot actually how comfortable they used to be when I used to wear them a lot. When I did a lot of home health care nursing. So I was thinking about that yesterday, I'm gonna go ahead and buy me some more chinos and chinos are very comfortable. I can wear those in place of wearing jeans and chinos come in various colors from beige and green and brown, also black, multiple colors. So I'll probably start wearing some of those because that's a very casual look. It's a very casual cotton fabric and it can be worn all year round. So if you wear chinos or if you're pulling out denim a lot, you're wearing a lot of t-shirts, you're wearing a lot of loose fitting clothes, a lot of linen during the summertime, then your style is probably very casual. So the last category is the creative artsy type category. People in this category love bold, 
bold, beautiful colors, accessories. I know y'all think I fit in this category and I do dabble in this category a lot because I love bold colors, but I want it to be comfortable. Uh, but it consists of bold colors, beautiful, vibrant patterns. Think of Tabitha Brown, think of Iris Apfel. These are people who are definitely in this category. They love mixing prints. They love mixing colors. There's not, you, it's not uncommon to see them with prints and different prints and different colors on at the same time. And they just have a fantastic way of meshing these together. They just look fantastic. They just brighten up a room. They just love, they love unique pieces. So if you're the type of person that loves, like you would go into a store, like an antique store, or an, uh, uh, what is it called? Clothing store. Second hand store? Yeah. So if you're the type of person that would go into a vintage store and see a blazer that is half orange and half pinstripe, I would pick it up too. I'm just going to be honest with you. I would have to have that. <laughs> These are the type of people that love those sort of things. They're just vibrant and happy and they just love mixing patterns and textures and fabrics. So if you're the type of person that loves doing that, you're the, you're the artsy type. You're the bold, you're the vibrant type. And yes, I love those, those clothes. I just, when I see Tabitha or when I see Iris or people like them, it just makes me so happy. I do love vibrant pieces and bold pieces, but I just want them to be comfortable. So I, I honestly feel like I fit into all the categories. There's a little bit of me in every category, but if you're the kind of person that loves these bright, bold pieces then you are you probably already know that you're art so you probably are very very creative you like mixing front furniture <laughs> <laughs> you like mixing your jewelry you like vibrant bold beads and stacking your bracelets and you like colorful shoes and colorful purses and sometimes colorful makeup and colorful eyeglasses then you're the artsy bold type well, that's it, family. I really hope you enjoyed this video. In the comment section, let me know what your signature style is, or if you have a signature style that's like mine, a combination of a combination of several. But just let me know what it is. Now, thank you so much for watching my video. Give me a thumbs up if you love it. And no matter where you are in the world, I want you to have the most blessed day. Bye bye.